Okay, so one of your most important uh, product designs will be the box or the container for your product. Um, so I'm going to show you this website that's really, really useful called templatemaker.nl. Um, on here, there are lots of interesting uh, nets that you can use, and it shows you the pictures of the shapes. So I'm just going to zoom in to show you a little bit better. There's all kinds of different shapes. So you may have heard me say uh, cute and clever for your design ideas before. Um, not too complex. Uh, and I think these fit that description. It's better to have something that's slightly interesting uh, and well, well made than something that's too adventurous um, and perhaps falling short of the mark. So if I to press control plus, there we go, we can zoom in. Uh, and you can see on the pictures there, we've got the 3D picture and then at the side is the 2D net. Now this is the interesting thing, is that when you get to the modeling stage, you can actually change all the different sizes so that it is your individual uh, work. Because what we don't want is everybody's work looking the same. Uh, you get marks for independence and you get marks for um, a development. So you would have to make some changes to what you see here. So the developments and changes could be uh, adding a handle, perhaps ha having a cutout silhouette, something to do with your theme, a window, uh, an extra panel added maybe, or maybe combining different nets and shapes together to make quite a complex product. Although, as I say, we don't want to overcomplicate things. We want good, well-made products. Um, so let's not get too bogged down with the development at this stage because you will have to model these, which is when naturally you will start to th see things uh, that can be changed and improved. So at the drawing stage, we can use these images to draw from. You might want to print them out to do that. Um, we can trace them on the light box. And if we are printing out these images, what we need to do is hang on to them because the nets that come along the side are gonna be really useful at a later date when we come to do our modeling. So we will be uh, killing two birds with one stone, as it were. So we're printing off the, the shapes and using the nets uh, at a later date for our card modeling. So again, those will have to be uh, copied onto colored card that will really stand out. But that's the next stage. Um, for now, it's drawing designs. After that, we'll talk about modeling and then we will be able to get onto the making. So the, the lovely thing, and I'll just show you a quick example of this. You can import, so you can input all the different measurements into these spaces that you require. And if you're not quite sure what some of the uh, dimensions are that they, ref that they refer to, if you look onto the picture, it does tell you with the labels which dimension you're actually putting in, which is a really nice touch. Okay, so on to our design drawing. 